Good afternoon. Welcome to episode 722. This week we're going to talk about stress and also why that happens and what you can do about it. So the title this week is uh, How Was Your Week? Stressed out, wiped out, glad it's done. Um, I want to speak this week about that, particularly because this may be a a recycled experience you're having, and if it is, this may help you. So stick with me. So first let me start by introducing myself so you know why I am, what I'm doing, and then we get into this. My name is Barry Selby, in case you didn't already know that. I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert, but more more than anything else, I'm becoming a self-love um, relationship expert, if that makes any sense. But I help women create balance in love, life, and business is my major passion because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. That's also what led to these talks I started doing over two years ago called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart, although they are shifting a little bit nowadays. So 720 broadcasts later, <laughs> we're at 722, and I will talk to you about um, if you're living for the weekend, there may be a challenge. So I'm playing with this idea. So I've got some ideas that are brewing, so it's not like a script I've got for you, but I've got some intriguing things to perhaps share with you. If you are somebody who has been through this week where you're done with the week, you're glad it's over, too much stress, too much craziness, too much chaos, and it's not the first time this has happened, you may be in a, um, what's what I'm looking for? Recycled experience, as in doing it again and again and again. I used to be there. I used to do that too. I'm not saying that I'm gonna teach you how to have the right career, but what I'm gonna to talk to you about is a couple of things. Because yes, maybe you should be looking for a new job if it's too much stress. That's not my, quite not my place to advise on this point. I'm not a career coach, I'm not a business coach. However, I am a self-support coach more than more in my work with relationship-centric, but also other areas too. I want to become very aware of, partly from my own journey <laughs> and the journeys of friends, is that sometimes Friday can't come soon enough. Being in a job, being in a position, being in a, a career where it's just like stress from morning, Monday morning through to Friday night and having the weekend be the only time you can recoup, re- reset and re- um, refuel, restore, is not the way to live life. I'm also not saying you should quit your job, by the way. So before you think I'm saying you quit your jobs and do other things, that may come up, but I want to give you some other things before that. And basically what I'm speaking about is that oftentimes we get so caught up in external um, drivers, external things like careers, like jobs, like everything out there, that we neglect to take care of ourselves. And frankly, a lot of times that stress, that upset, that... um, worn out feeling is because we never took time for ourselves during the week and I'm, and I'm going to recommend some things like practices but I want to speak to more of an overarching thing because yes you can make sure that you meditate every day or that you go to the spa once a week or that you go to the gym or you sleep more or you eat healthier all these different things but that's not really what I'm talking about here those are all methods or should say tools that can help you get back on your feet and de-stress from your crazy weeks but more than that I, love to, I believe a lot of times the stress comes from when we lose touch with who we are. We lose touch with who we are as a being, as a authority, but also as somebody who can basically run our own lives. So what happens is that we get into a place where we get so caught up in the craziness and the frustration and the stress of the week that we run away from ourselves. We forget who we are. And if it's going to happen for you, you're not alone by any stress of the imagination. Many, many, many people I know, and I said I used to be this myself, were so identified by our titles or by our job or by what we were doing, we forgot about our being. And what I've become clear about, and this is going to refer to my course, just so you know, I'm, I'm, I'm preloading that in a way. I'm aware that so many people have lost touch with who they really are. Yes, I, I like when I go to Garfield on Sunday, I see a lot of people who are wonderful people when they come in there at their, their, lifted up and they're, they're restored and they're feeling great. But maybe by, by Monday afternoon, Tuesday, they've forgotten that or they lost touch with that. They have come back the next week to get restored, which is great. They have a place to go, go to. But does it have to be once a week? And I mean this from the point of view of a rest- restoration or a reset or reconnection. There's a lot of us that I have discovered, discovered one way of putting it, that there's a better way of living, which is frankly, to come home to ourselves more and more and more every moment. So that when we're in stressful environments, we don't lose touch with who we are. When we're in environments where we feel like we're going to be challenged or going to be uh, worked harder than we want to work, 
we sometimes get so stressed and knotted up inside we lose touch with who it is that we really are the simplicity of this is almost so obvious I had to talk about it but the reality is it takes more work than just the simple answer to do this this and this and you'll be okay but the truth is in this journey in this process this experience of life itself part of what we tend to do as a culture perhaps as a society is we're out there doing things we're going to achieve goals and make things happen and we're going to crush it as some people say which I hate that term personally but we forget that who we are is already enough who, who we are is already worthy who we are is already deserving when we remember that and come back to that more and more and more often being out in the world becomes an easier experience so you can still go to the same job do the same old thing but how you handle it and how you're often treated is going to change because what's going to be different about you in that environment is you're going to be finding yourself in a place of relaxed resource versus stressed out upsetness that's a word it's a word <laughs> it's my broadcasting they call it a word so how do you get back there first of all the truth is it's remembering more than anything else remembering that you are already deserving remembering that you're already worthy because we sometimes we we no, sometimes we continually get in, uh, embattled by marketing media advertising commercials people uh, chatting away around us newspapers all these different things that keep telling us how that everything's wrong with the world and it also makes us feel something's wrong with us all those which is still still kind of makes me think me crazy all those pharmaceutical and medical advertisements stuff in magazines and on television that was never like that in England but to see it over here is so weird where they're going to tell you you know if you have these symptoms you may have this problem therefore you need our pill and then people start believing it so it's about coming home to yourself coming back to yourself to remember who you really are because frankly 99.9% .9 of that stuff you don't need it you don't need any of it but you might be trying to tie together what they're trying to sell you with what you are now making up as symptoms that aren't really who you are and then you become a self-fulfilling prophecy for their marketing that's not cool so my reminder to you in this little talk and my encouragement to you is to come home to yourself to really come back to who you really are to embody embrace and appreciate who you really are because you already are a fully functioning whole human being that is loving that is creative that is joyful you may not feel it at times and I understand that but the reality is that's true of who you are because you're on the planet and being on the planet you are a miracle as everybody who's on the planet is a miracle yeah I know some people look at it and go they can't be a miracle all of us are miracles what we do with it though is different for every person and my encouragement is that again you remember to stay tuned in turned on connected to your own resource and support and that you love who you are you appreciate who you are and you honor who you are because what happens is when you do that you make better choices you respond differently to situations and you don't as easily get caught up in other people's crises there was a um, I remember a post uh, a it wasn't a meme it was a poster or a, a picture on somebody's wall when I used in the printing industry one of my previous careers in the printing industry there was a sign on the wall little little like 8 by 10 poster sign it wasn't a poster it was a um, a picture and it said in there the quote simply said is that um, which it was two one of them was your lack of pre-planning does not constitute my emergency that's a powerful statement by the way when somebody else is upset and emergency trying to get you to do running their panic you can say no to that the second one which was another one which I liked a lot was um, it was time quality time quality and cost pick two because the thing is in in the printing industry especially if you want it done it right if you want it done right and you've done the quality you have got to pay for it if you want it done it cheap you can save time or you can save quality be kind of all three so that's I'm using those as a result mine is in the business world especially that sometimes people are putting pressure on you to try and do all three which is not really possible now maybe you're a genius maybe you're a, a maverick and you make this happen but do you want to do it all the time or you want to take time for yourself again come back to resource in yourself you are already resource based when you choose to be this is a reminder of that and yes as I said at the beginning earlier on rather that my course that I created called coming home to yourself speaks to this because part of what comes up is when you remember how to build up your own self support systems self love self care self appreciation self support self-honoring or different things 
stress doesn't have to happen as much because you remember who you really are. And it is that simple in some ways, not always easy, but it is that simple in, at times. So my encouragement and my invitation is to check out the course. I'll put the link in the comments because it is a pay what you want course. It does not, it's not a fixed like $3,000 course. It's something you get to choose what you want to pay for it. But it's a group course I'm offering as a chance to come together to support each other and especially to support ourselves to be more of who we really are and to claim, reclaim and to restore back to ourselves all of those qualities that we may have forgotten. This is a remembering exercise basically but sometimes you have to have encouragement and teachings and practices to remember the truth about yourself. If you do it all yourself, you wouldn't need the course. And if you don't, that's fine. But I'm, I'm inviting you to check it out for yourself because you might find what you're looking for right in front of you. Um, I do, I've got another broadcast brewing, but I also do, for, I also do a, a stress relief one for today because it is Friday and it is the weekend ahead. So if you're feeling more stressed out than you'd like, remember that it's not doesn't have to be that way. Again, what I'm offering in my course might help you. But the thing is, there's more to life than what is nine to five. I'm not going to go into too deep in that because that's a whole business philosophy thing. And yes, I'm, I'm unusual in the sense I'm an entrepreneur, so I don't have a nine to five. I have a 24 <laughs> seven. It does make it harder and easier at the same time. But I wanted to just encourage you to take care of yourself more than anything else. If you do take out my course, great. I appreciate that. But I'm also here to remind you to take care of yourself, especially this weekend when you're away from work. But better yet, because it's a three day weekend, by the way, coming up. But better than yeah is to remember to take care of yourself even in the midst of the chaos, the stress, and the, and the worry. When you can do that, your life is going to shift quite a bit because then you're in a place where life becomes easier piece by piece by piece. That's about it. I thought it was going to be a longer broadcast. I think that's basically what I want to talk about. Stress relief does come from within. Going down to the spa is great, but the truth is when you come back to yourself and you remember yourself, so you're not always checking the phone for notifications and panics and worries. That's another thing, by the way. When you turn off the phone, it's a good idea then to come back to yourself and to restore yourself. It's a powerful place to resource so you can be more comfortable in who you are and you come home to yourself and love yourself as you really are. All right. This is my daily broadcast, by the way. If you haven't seen me before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, please check out my replays. They're on my business page on Facebook, which is um, barryselby.author, as well as on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. Um, take care of yourself, especially this weekend. There are so many times we forget to, and the more you remember, the better it's going to be. I'll put a link in the comments for my, my course, because it's definitely ready for you right now. And if you have any questions about this, please put them in the comments below, and I'll respond when I sign off. Um, thank you for being with me as always. I do this every day at 5 p.m. So please join me live every day at 5 p.m. on my personal, on my personal page um, on Facebook. And with that, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, take care of yourself. Please take care of yourself. And I'll see you again soon.